Okay, welcome back. And uh, in this we were working. We were working with the uh, method. So, the so we uh, actually I just realized that first we have to do the constructor. So, um, and then we we can probably make the methods in this video as well. Doesn't matter that much. So let's create a constructor that can initialize both variables. Uh, so this is a class account, and it should have a constructor that can initialize those variables. And again, um, the constructor has to be called the same as the class, and I should probably comment this as well. So, has to have, has to have the same name as the class. So, right. So... And the constructor has to be uh, public. It has to be void. Pub no, wait a moment. Uh, ah, see, it's so easy to forget in Java. So I don't think it's. I think it's just account, account, and then it takes in two. Uh, let's just try. Yeah. So, public account. Yeah, it's happy with that. So, it, yeah. It's kind of confused me, but um, public account, yeah. And now we can take in, so it should have. Uh, let's just use the same naming uh, convention that I introduced in the baby project to make it easy in the beginning. Um, yeah, let's just call this name in, and uh, for for the next project, uh, we will be learning a new concept, um, which is not that difficult. But for this one, just stick to to this oh, balance in okay so these are input variables and um, let me see what it says it's, uh, yeah yeah and yeah I just this is how I work I usually forget sometimes and sometimes I remember but now I just forgot to um, to write string in front and double it was a double uh, balance in so and MetBeans is wonderful for that. People who are a bit forgetful. Um, so we can see that if it pops up an error, then we can usually remember what what we did wrong. So, um, yep. And um, now we can just say that um, name, so that's a name from the top, equals uh, name in. And it should be happy. And for the other one, balance... From the, let me just do a, and this is again naming convention that uh, usually variables should always start with a, a, a minor letter, not capitalized, call a minor letter. Um, don't remember, but a small, small one, um, not capitalized. Um, so, and balance in, right, and it's happy. So now we've created. That's so let's go back to the checklist of assignment. See what we have done. Create a constructor that can initialize both variables. This is what it's doing. And um, this should be clear. So let's move on. Uh, the class should contain the following methods. Um, now we're dealing with this method thing. So let's just let me do that here. Mention the difference. So. Um, so we have two different methods. Here we have the uh, the void, and we have the return. Ah, it's just a different color, like green. Uh, maybe you should choose blue. Blue. Um, so, and uh, so it's void, and then blue again. So even if it's a string and double, it's still the same kind of uh, because um so this would be just do like this um this would be uh return they would have um hope that's readable return and like this and the other one um so let me place it so it's not on top of some text and these are uh, call it no return i call it returned with a t no mind should have had a T. Um, so, what is the different difference? 
um, let's just create them and uh, and we'll see what is the difference. Um, so, but these are the differences. So we have the the void that is, uh, that doesn't return anything, and then the, and then uh, where we have like uh, either double or string on int or whatever where it returns something, a uh, piece of information. Um, so um, let's create the first one, and I'm so forgetful. Um, let's just copy paste this, shall we? Uh, I can always put it in comments if it gives error messages. Um, so let's just uh, copy paste. Okay, uh, so these should be the methods. So let me just, for the sake of it, do like this and like this and this what I did here is just uh, if you comment like from on out comment um, uh, then you can use this star and then star and then this so it's forward uh, it's called backslash forward slash so uh, forward slash star and then it starts to uh, out comment everything following it and uh, comment it and uh, to end the comment session then just star and then forward slash so you can zoom in also so like that so um yeah let's move on so what is it public double get balance uh let's just write that public double get balance and this shouldn't be like that it should be like this and it will complain for now, we'll just leave it and let me start talking about. So, first of all, this is called uh, it's, this word "get" is very important because this is what we call a getter, which means that we'll use this method to get information. And in this case, the information we'll be getting, we can see that the name says "balance," so we should get the balance of the account. This is like will be an account object at one point, not as account class, but we'll create an object from it. Um, okay, so why is it complaining? Why we defined here, it says public double. So this double, we defined that it should be returning. Let's just write this. Should uh, return a double uh, so you call it a double it's not so much a variable because it's a piece of information that's like uh, a type of information because um, I can show you uh, but we keep it in in a variable that's a bit I won't be dealing so much with that yet because I need to read up on it is the theory behind um, variables and what they contains and all that stuff so for now we'll just deal with the more practical stuff so it should return a piece of information uh, which in this case is uh, a variable that contains the balance so uh, like this it should return balance and in my complaint that is not uh, outside method Uh, so what's going on? Uh, yeah, again, forget small things. <laughs> yeah, I just forgot. Um, and this is another thing that um, maybe it's not that intuitive, bit, but it's the way that it is. So let me zoom in as well. And um, so these ones, these guys, um, parentheses. Because it's not very intuitive that even if you're not using uh, the message, you're not putting an information into this uh, method, um, it still needs them. So we, we still need to remember these at the end. And I just forgot them. So, um, yeah. So, but the, the what it does, it just returns what, it, what this variable holds of uh, information, which is uh, a double. Um, Amount so it'll be a decimal number. A decimal number. It could be anything. Whatever we choose it to be um, when we cr create the object. And um, 
So let's just say that it returns the variable, even though I don't think that's technically true. But we just say that it returns this to uh, um, when the method is called. So um, yeah, and method calls will be uh, be some of the next videos. Let me just there are some minutes left, so I'll just uh, do all of them and remember the parentheses. So it, I think it's good that I make these errors because then you can see um, that you can just figure it out by the errors. Uh, that there's just a little small thing missing. Um, so this one, pass it. Maybe we should be dealing with... Um, yeah, so this will be a different kind, the void. Uh, so let's do that in the next video. So, um, and in the future, I'll read up on the uh, more technical stuff of the uh, how to explain with uh, what the variable contains and how they send the, the information around. Um, but for, for these uh, small projects, just keep it to a more practical level that it will actually work and do what we want it to, but we may not understand technically exactly what's going on. So, um, Okay, so for the next video, the, we'd take the void method. Um, so, see you in the next one.